Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And so, we need a 138.11. 139.22 with the Resilient Sound Gold 8. Let's quantify that. First of all, let's understand that even though those scores are impressive for doing the 31 hertz, as my other video is saying, that doesn't mean that's as loud as it could possibly get. In your application, it could be even louder. You could do a 140, 142. Remember, the mean is just to quantify the results between the two. Give me a, a, a relation of what something who can do. Being one dB off from each other, apples and oranges. Apples and oranges. Maybe the the what happened to vascularity that day, power fluctuations, or anything. That's not too much of a, a difference between the two. One has a 900 RMS rating, one has a 1,000 RMS rating. Both of them got two 2.5 inch voice cores. Both of them as well. Uh, that well, one has a slightly bigger cutout. The one with the slightly bigger cutout actually muted less than the other. Both muted 31 hertz because that's a resonant vehicle in my vehicle. Based on where my box is tuned at right now, that's where it's meaning the highest at 31 hertz. With these particular subs, it might change with something else. Okay? Also, my box is slightly efficient. Well, before I get to that, look at this too. This is a D2. These are D4. Same amplifier, same application, yet it was a 1 dB difference in favor of the one with 1,000 watts, even though this one has a bigger cutout. But as look at the falls gate. So the difference between the power was made by 250, 200 to 250 watts. Maybe on a good day, maybe just 200 watts. Because this, the amplifier said a 2 ohm load, and this one amplifier seen a 1 ohm load. This is 2 D4s, 2 D2s. Okay? So there's a difference in power. Maybe the 200 watt, the 200 watt difference is why this one did one dB more. But like I say, this apples and that that that's they're so close together that you're not gonna say hey, this one is better than that one, which I'll never do on this channel. I want you to factor it all in and quantify it, and also the size of my cabin. If you had a smaller cabin, you, maybe one dB would be even easier to hit. Maybe more than one dB. And let me come and say this too. Just because I'm putting these, these eight scores and I'm doing this in my truck, by no means do I think I'm the loudest person with eights in the world. I don't think I'm also the loudest person uh, a person who can do these numbers with eights. I've seen setups with people with eights do more than what I'm doing. And sometimes with even less power. I'm just using the quantification on my channel. I'm never gonna say I'm the loudest. I'm never gonna say one band is better than another. I'm just going to put forth the 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 the, uh, the facts as I see them, in my opinion. Both of them are great sound sound sub subwoofers. I would say, as far as sound quality, mm, I, I give both of them the same there too. It, it, <laughs> then you got to go through the price, what they want for this and what they want for that one. This is two hundred nineteen dollars. They don't have it listed up on the site yet. Cause he hasn't revamped the the uh, the website. Johnny has at Cosmos Audio. This you get this subwoofer is sky high. But I told you some things that I thought about this subwoofer as well. This one has an efficiency of eighty six on fifteen hundred watts. This one has an efficiency of seventy nine. However, it needed louder than the one that had a sensitivity of eighty six on the same power at the same frequency. Go figure. See how this all this stuff can change. You can't just look at one parameter and say this this is going to do. This one has this one had a higher FS than this one does. This one has an FS of 38. This one has an FS of 49. But they both meet it inside the enclosure at 31 hertz, which goes back to what I always tell you. I don't care less about the subwoofers. I really can. What's doing the work is this, the box. Now, they wasn't in this box. And in closing, let me tell you what's in this box right here. This is the customary box that people put eights in. This is a 1.5 cube box. This is a 1.5 cube box. 
This is an old box. You probably seen this on the channel before. The American Base Ace. This box here, uh, it's not old, but I originally designed to put these in here because it has a slightly larger cutout. So I couldn't put them in here because the cutout's bigger. So I made this for the Toros. Long time ago, I made this for my Toros. You can, you can look at this long time ago. This box ain't never been used because I wound up putting the Toros in the three cube box. The very first round they used to win in it was in the three cube box, which I had built several three cube boxes for myself. But that's what this was originally designed for. But this is the customary eight inch box that people put eights in. 1.5 to Q cubes. This is 1.5. I have a two cube box over here that I got for a customer uh, with some CT sounds Bezios. But this is a two cube box. But this is a 1.5 cube box, two with uh, two seven three inch aerials. So I got 14 squares of support area in per cube in a 1.5 cube box. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show y'all how output changes as the box size go down. As the box size goes down, the bigger the cone area is king. As you increase the cone, you increase the box size. So we know the three cube box for either one of these subs meters 137 or 38 on music. Now watch what happens when I put these subs inside the vehicle in a box half that size, using utilizing optimum port area, but just watch what happens. You're not, I'm not going to meter as high as I think I'm going to meter. I'm not going to meter as high as not. I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe like 136. Yeah, 136, 136, 137. It's going to be, in the, and my tuning going to go up. I'm not going to meter that low either. That's my opinion. That's what I see. I'm going to post this video, and maybe I'm wrong. But I've seen that as the box sizes go up, and that's why I'm at this overly efficient enclosure. Not saying that you can put every subwoof in an oversized enclosure. But I know to get the output that I like getting the eights, I like to put them in slightly bigger than recommended enclosures. Slightly bigger, not too much. The kickers can play in 1.5 each. They can play in three cubes all day. Easy. And some of y'all asking, well, we're going to meet the kids. I'm going to meet it. I'm going to make it a meet of the kick, kickers after I go through the experiment with these two just to show y'all something. Some of y'all feelings are going to get hurt when y'all see what the kickers do. Some of y'all feelings are going to get hurt. Same size box that the eights in, but some of y'all feelings are going to get hurt when I prove to y'all again, Conair is king. But anyway, that's enough. Peace.